Hello, this is Supreme Bacon Overlord coming at you with this new game I tried called Fun Fit 5. This is a game I found through SideQuest and AppLav. I play a lot of VR, rhythm, and fitness games. Good or bad, it doesn't matter. If a game is awesome, then all is good and I will continue to play it. If a game is really bad, I'll never consider it a waste of my time because I'm still physically moving around and I'm doing something that is productive. Even if I have never played the game again, I'll still consider it a win because I'm still burning calories and I'm not sitting on my ass all day long. I do this with free games all the time. With paid games, I'm a little bit more cautious depending on the price. I do in some cases refund these games if I know I'll never play them again. You can look at videos online and read reviews even if all that checks out. Once you start playing the game to see for yourself, you can still have a very different opinion. And even though the refund systems have been good to me so far from both Steam and the Metal Store, I still proceed with caution especially if that's a game that's $15 or higher in price. So if you see a demo for a game, try the demo out first to get that first-hand experience. The company that makes this game is called VR Research Labs and they have other games on their website too if you check them out. So FunFit5, uh, this is the description they have on the App Lab page. Burn fat, not boredom. With FunFit5, ditch the dusty treadmills and reveal your inner athlete in unique VR worlds where punching, slicing, dodging, and mastering handcrafted workouts become your new obsession. Unleash your power, punch, slice, and dodge your way through 45 plus handcrafted workouts across three unique themes. Explore a spooky haunted mansion conquer ancient Egypt and more. Customize your combat and track your progress in depth information. So now here I'm hitting a speed bag which is cool. At the end of this level there was a speed bag which I punched for several, it felt like it was a long time which is cool. And you can see here um, punching uh, blocks. I'm in ancient Egypt there's a King Tut's tomb. The gloves themselves, the gloves themselves, they look a little weird. They're kind of, they have a kind of like a goofy look to them. Um, it kind of bothered me at first, but almost instantly I forgot. I just was focused on hitting the blocks here. And the physics, at least in the punching game and the punching exercises, these are pretty good. Um, here you can see I'm doing, uh, I was doing a bunch of uh, cross punches. I like doing cross punches because uh, it makes you twist your body a little bit. And here it's there's just a bunch of uh, pretty straightforward uh, exchanges here. The actual levels themselves, um, I don't, I mean, I know that they're saying that this is a workout focus game, but, uh, and here I'm, I'm doing uh, uppercuts and, and hooks. They have obstacles to dodge, which is cool. So what I was saying, um, It just looks like they're just throwing a bunch of blocks at you here. Uh, there's no real coordination. Uh, but uh, I was looking at my uh, heart rate and it was pretty much uh, above 100. So uh, I'm not an expert in uh, heart rate. Uh, I know that for me, if at least um, for it to have some effectiveness. Um, I notice if, if it's constantly uh, over a hundred beats per minute, 
so 100 beats per minute or higher, I know that I've had like a decent workout. And here you see another speed bag. And I'm staring at King Tut, his, his tomb. <laughs> so this is like a slashing one. And here I had trouble with the hit detection. But you see like little scarabs there uh, that you have to destroy. Um, here I missed a few. Uh, so on these types of uh, patterns that come at you, uh, you got to time your swings. So I had to go a little slower. It would have been cool if uh, you can just slice faster. But yeah, there's some sections where you have to kind of like slow down. Here it was fine. I, I was able to slash at full speed on these here. I like these type of patterns. Uh, I know the official game of Beat Saber doesn't have that, but if you download some of the custom levels, uh, there is some that have those type of patterns. And this one just makes you slash across, which is probably good because uh, you're uh, twisting or you're uh, twisting your body as you're doing this. At least I do. So here's more of those uh, where you have to time your swing. Did have trouble with this, these at first, but um, I was all right. Here's more of those. So the game itself, uh, the music itself, uh, it's pretty basic. They're not actual sounds. They're more uh, theme based, uh, theme based sounds. So you have like your Halloween sounds. Uh, you have all sorts of sounds. <laughs> the only ones I can remember off the top of my head right now are uh, Halloween sounds. And you can change some of the songs uh, before you start the workout. It lets you select um, other songs, which is cool. I just chose not to uh, have the music. I just wanted to talk over this just to kind of describe things as they're coming at me. Here I'm slicing across with one blade. Same here, the opposite blade. My right hand. And here I'm just uh, timing my swing. I can't go too fast because then I miss a lot of them. And then at the end there's a giant scarab. Uh, here's a haunted house environment and um, this uh, style is called hit back so instead of uh, so I'm assuming this is like Beat Saber so what I've noticed is um, depending on your environment uh, your weapons might change so you know on the uh, Egyptian stage I had like those uh, curved blades and here I have bats. Uh, I had trouble with the hit detection here, but I think it uh, could be because I needed more space. I wasn't aware that it was going to be this wide. Uh, so on here, I'm stretching far to the right. Um, and I'm hitting them, but sometimes you have some where uh, it'll have two spiders, um, one on the far right and one on the far left. I had trouble with those and here I'm missing some of them <laughs> because I'm using the wrong uh, bat to hit it. So uh, I probably just have to get used to that. Here uh, I'm slashing across both sides, you know, using both blades, green, blue, you know, so. This is pretty cool. I like doing that. So yeah, sometimes when, um, when I had to reach to the far right or the far left, I would miss. Uh, I noticed that you have to hit them on the on the fat side of the bat, or else it, it it'll uh, count it as a miss. So you have to kind of hit them a little bit early. And once you get used to that. 
then you're fine. Uh, I just have to get, I still have to get used to it. I kind of did towards the end, but yeah, you, you just have to get used to it. So the music itself, um, like I said, it's, it just sounds very MIDI like music, but you actually hear instruments in there thrown into the mix. It's hard to describe, but um, the music is just in general, it's, it's pretty basic. Uh, I still chose to not play it in fear of getting a demonetize or not allowing me to monetize my videos even though I don't have the subscriber rate right now I would still like to come back and monetize some of these videos um, so I'm trying to do that a little less now I still do it from time to time but uh, I just chose not to do it in this video uh, so yeah that's pretty much that uh, the game itself, uh, they said it has 45 songs. Um, I counted about 30, but um, I didn't count the ones that were up on the top. There's like a bar that has extra songs there. I don't know if they were the same songs as in the bottom. It just looked like it was a, you know, suggested workouts type of uh, bar, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, they claim the game has 45 songs and uh, they add new songs on a weekly basis um, I only got this game about a day ago from you know the time of this recording so we'll have to wait and see if they update this game constantly uh, I might get it I don't know at this point it's, it's kind of hard to tell if it's like a game that I will add to my regular routine um, but it is a game that I'll come back to for sure clearly the first aspect that catches your eyes is the graphics which appear quite basic personally I can overlook this if the game has solid fixes not fixes solid physics if it has solid fix, uh, bah. if the game has solid physics, a substantial number of levels, and a commitment from the creators to continually enhance the gaming experience by addressing bugs, introducing improvements, and incorporating additional exercise routines. The fact that they mention adding new routines on a weekly basic is a positive sign they have that in their description of the game in if you look at it in uh, app lab so i'm optimistic that the quality of levels will improve over time my concern is that the objects might be randomly placed but considering the game is still in its early alpha stages this is acceptable for now but the game will become stale and boring over time if they just continue to randomly put objects just in random places uh, I think they somewhere down the line they need to think about uh, workout you know proper workout routines not just place objects uh, in different places the overall appearance of the game is something we'll have to wait and see um, how it turns out in the final uh, version of the game as for the boxing aspect the physics are decent and the hit detection is good however uh, the beat saver like slash levels um, suffer from less precise hit detection specifically with the objects that are on the far left and the objects that are on the far right as you saw in some of the game footage uh, I like this part right here where you squat uh, you have to squat and then uh, put your head in that circle and this one right here was a weird level to me I thought at first I thought you just had to like um, pound on them like drums 
just because of the way they're facing. Um, but then I was I just started uh, hitting them. They they don't they don't have a tutorial or anything like that that shows you um, what you should be doing. The the way the gloves are, the way they're uh, placed, it kind of feels weird at first. But then you forget about it once you start uh, playing the game. Once you start getting into it. Uh, they also have hand tracking. The hand tracking works okay. Needs improvements. Um, but uh, I don't know if I'll use hand tracking uh, on a normal basis. I'm just used to grabbing the controllers and hopping in. So here in this part, you do a bunch of side lunges, which is cool. I always liked side lunges. Here, uh, I don't know what you're supposed to do there. I just slash them as if though I'm playing Beat Saber. They really need to have a some sort of tutorial, even if it's basic, just explaining what you need to do. That would be cool. It's hard to tell if you have to do an uppercut. Like these, I'm assuming you just, they're just regular punches. And here, <laughs> these are a little weird, but these are probably like double punches. They have uh, obstacles where you can move left and right. That's pretty cool. I feel like uh, I only tried like a few exercise routines, but I kind of feel like they need more obstacles. Just, you know, to have more movement. So, um, yeah, let's talk about pricing. The elephant in the room. I assume that at a later stage, perhaps during the game's beta phase or in its official release, they will start charging for it. In its present state, even if they fix the hit detection and a few bugs here and there, I'll pay $9.99. It's not a game I'll integrate into my daily routine, but I'll certainly return to play it occasionally. That's for sure, in its current state. If there are enhancements along the way, I'll be open to paying a higher amount, such as, you know, um, improving the graphics, the overall gameplay physics, and just making it a solid game in general. Uh, I would pay more. So as you can see on this pattern, I had trouble with detecting my hits with the hit detection. I'm using the Quest Pro controllers. So the hits should have landed even though the controllers or out of sight or out of view because these controllers track themselves uh, you know they they have cameras on them and they have like this little processor chip on them uh, so even though they were out of the sight of the camera uh, those hits should have still landed uh, here's a little bit of more of those if they're on the far left or the far right it's kind of hard to hit the hit detection goes off. It's not, it's not correct. <laughs> it could just also be me. I had, uh, maybe I didn't reach far enough. At times it did feel like um, I had to like stretch a little bit farther. If the target was on the, on the left, I had to like stretch further to the left. It did feel that way at times. Um, it's really hard to tell. Uh, so maybe it's that. And then when there's objects, you know, um, on the far right and on the far left, like these here, you know, lined up together. Uh, yeah, you had to kind of like stretch your arms out a little further. So uh, in some stages, you do need a wider space. So yeah, uh, that's debatable since you can't really see yourself striking the objects. So maybe I'm wrong about that. 
this is a Halloween level, obviously. So depending on the environment, the objects do change. Your gloves change as well. Uh, you saw that earlier in the Egyptian stage. Um, the gloves, they had like uh, hieroglyphics on them, Egyptian hieroglyphics. This is a haunted house. Oh, I like these here uh, where you squat and then you have to get up and align your face with that circle. These are pretty cool. I love this. I probably mentioned it previously. And um, in this level, you're hitting pumpkins, you're punching pumpkins. The gloves look different. So yeah, uh, there's like about three or four different environments. There's probably more. These are the ones that I just noticed right off the bat. The game has a leaderboard. So if you're into that, you then you'll you'll love this. I don't know how accurate it is, but they have that. They have a leaderboard. It also tracks your stats. So, you know, that's cool. That part is cool. Other than the hit detection being kind of questionable, um, I didn't notice any weird glitches. So far I've played this game for about an hour and I didn't notice any weird bugs or, or glitches. Uh, there was that one point um, where I think I left it in the recording. Uh, the saver got stuck on one of the slashing levels. I had to get a, a well actually no, uh, I stayed in the game and it eventually fixed itself. Uh, that was the only thing I've noticed that was a little screwy in the game itself. So currently the game is free on App Lab for Quest 2, Quest Pro and Quest 3. It's available for free to download. You don't have to pay a buck. So if you own one of these headsets, feel free to download the game and give it a try. I'll have a link to the game in the description below. That's all I'm going to say for now. I think I crapped my pants.